This is how I started my own business. I was, I was a, uh, a school teacher making about $17,500 a year. This is not going to happen, so I opened a hoagie shop like everybody else in Philadelphia. Do you know how many hoagies you have to sell to pay for tuition? I took a seminar at the Spectrum. So at any rate, he gave, he gave such a wonderful presentation that I started thinking about how I could promote my hoagie. So I started mailing hoagies to people, mainly to my brother in California, because we have no hoagies here. I ended up getting little write-ups and so forth in the paper. He's, this is a cute company. He, they send hoagies. So then I started sending hoagies, tasty cakes, soft pretzels, Goldenberg's peanut chews, scrapple, like in a care package. It got picked up by the Wall Street Journal. I'm making $17,500 teaching school, and I was doing just under a million <laughs> mailing hoagies all over the United States. And it was because of this article that ended up in the Wall Street Journal. I know what you're saying. You're saying, my business doesn't have the cachet of a, of a hoagie. <laughs> you just have to open up that creativeness in your mind. You know, Think really outside the box, and you can do it. When I was doing those hoagies by mail, a radio station, two radio stations, called me. <clears throat> they asked me to come into the radio station and give an interview because they want to interview me about the guy who mails hoagies all over the world. And right after the interview, what happened? Phone rang. Radio stations have contests, so they need gifts to give away. So they're always looking for unique, crazy, unusual, cool gifts. So your product, make it a gift, some way, shape, or form. I don't care what it is. He said, listen, I got an idea for you. And I said, what? He says, what if we cut you a commercial, we sell your care package, and we split the revenue? Yeah, I'll do that. So that's my third way of getting free advertising. Wait to hear this. There are 10,000 radio stations in the United States. I ended up doing this with 2,000 of them. So that's the multiplier. Start thinking. If I can do it with hoagies and Lars could do it with goats on his roof, you can do it with your company too. I've become a radio expert and a direct response radio expert. Unheard of. So I started selling infomercial products. Suzanne Summers, Thigh Master, Richard Simmons, Sweatin' to the Oldies. Um, you name it, we sold it on the radio. All you do is have to flick the switch to become big business mentality. And I'm gonna show you how it happened. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow marketers and entrepreneurs, you're about to learn a lesson about entrepreneurship that you will never forget. I, and I'm telling you, you'll never forget it. Uh, anyway, I meet with this guy and he says to me, listen, I have this idea, you know, it's called Priceline.com. He says, this is all the money I have to my name. He says, and by the way, get me a celebrity. Who wouldn't listen to the captain of the Starship Enterprise? <laughs> that was my figure. And he had a great voice, he had a distinctive voice. Here's what happened when I ran the commercials. We only got 2.2 million requests for airline tickets in 14 days. I sold $50 million in tickets in one week. In 120 days, we created the second biggest e-commerce name in the world, right behind Amazon, just using radio. We did one billion in sales in 18 months. No startup in history, before or since, has ever done a billion in sales in 18 months. For price on was worth 20 billion. All the airlines put together aren't worth 20 billion dollars. That's how much 20 billion is. Jay Walker called the 10 billion dollar man. He says, I'm the best in the world at this. That's why I know I'm the best in the world, because he told me I was the best in the world. Plus, I've spent about the most amount of money anybody could possibly spend on radio marketing. I hold the record for the most amount of response, the most amount of wealth ever created, the most amount of revenue ever created using radio. And I found in the medium. Take note here. We, in, in a 60 second commercial, there are 150 words, 150 to 160 words. 
What we say in radio is there are 150 to 160 words that can make you do anything. How can I make this real for you? Let me see here. If I gave you a dollar, would you kiss me? No. <laughs> I'm going to give you this course, 250 bucks, the tasty cakes and the dollar. What do you think? I know it. So your job is to think of a, the, in a perfect world, you have a product that you could advertise nationally that everybody wants. If that worked on a small national test, I can roll it out in 48 hours to the whole United States. And I've had the pleasure of doing that many, many, many times. Early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. That's it. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>